In Understanding Comics, Scott McCloud writes about this idea of masking. It's a term that he uses to describe the visual relationship between the backgrounds and the characters in comics, and how it enhances the experience for the reader. When a character is drawn in a more simplistic, iconographic style than the background, we as the reader tend to identify with that character, since its organic lines and simplicity of design make it the more emotionally relatable element of the image. Whereas the backgrounds, which are drawn much more realistically, give us a sense of place, an environment for our characters and us to fall into. Simply put, McLeod defines these contrasting styles as one set of lines to see, another set of lines to be. You can see this played out in various comics throughout history, and McLeod uses comics like Tintin and Cerebus as examples. In contrast, comics that have characters and backgrounds both drawn in a cartoony style provide a different experience for the reader. This approach can set the stage for a kind of story where there are less real-life consequences for your characters. Something more slapstick and humorous, perhaps. Are these your only two options when creating a comic? Of course not. Personally, I tend to choose an approach that's sort of in between. My backgrounds are not photorealistically drawn and my characters are not all that cartoony, but I do try and utilize the basic idea of masking when drawing comics. I'm thinking about the lines I use for the backgrounds and how I might not want to use the same kinds of lines for the characters. If I render the backgrounds one way, perhaps I'll find a way of rendering the characters that's a little different. It's nothing all that extreme, but the basic idea is that I don't want to have my characters get lost in the backgrounds. Why even put this much thought and time into all of this? I mean, does it really matter? Most people only spend a few seconds looking at a panel on a comic page anyway. Well, as Understanding Comics will point out, most of the comic reading experience happens on a subconscious level. Everything from character design to the way a comic is lettered has an effect on how the reader perceives and experiences the story. I thought I would share this masking philosophy as a way of highlighting the fact that every line you use in your comic is another way of communicating the story to your reader, and the blending of those lines, when done properly, helps you create a world for your reader to easily get lost in. Anyway, hope this helps, and thanks for watching. Take care.